Right then, hello everyone. Today's film. First of all, I'm showing this train, this Glam Toys train, number 527. Yes, you've seen this before, the one I had without the funnel. And uh, I've shown you this before, it has uh, a green base, see? And then, of course, that folds round and forms the back of the tender. But then, recently, I got this one. This is in better condition altogether. This one, in that it has its funnel as well. So that's pretty good, I think. Now, I was going to give the other one away, the one I showed first. But, of course, I'm not now. Because this one, the new one here, has a red base. And so that's different, isn't it? And then, of course, the uh, where it folds round, the back of the tender is red rather than green. So that's kind of variations for you. And who would have known that? So anyway, that's just to start off the uh, film for today because I don't have a lot at the minute to show. I've got some things I have to restore and I have some things, uh, other things, but I'm going to ask you later on what you want me to do next week. Now then, this is the start of today's show. Okay. I have here... This car called the Baby Gyro. Now this is uh, made in West, uh, made in Germany, not West Germany, just Germany. A uh, little blue car, friction drive. I think the uh, the passengers in it are quite mysterious looking. If I just show you this. You probably won't be able to see it unless I do this. There's a sort of guy with a sort of big slouch hat on. And this sort of woman who looks a bit like someone out of the monsters. I don't know if that's showing up at all. But anyway, it says GS on the side door. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that relates to. But, uh Mm. So, there it is. I don't think it's supposed to be any kind of particular car. Ah, uh, there's the underneath. There's a flywheel in the middle. The, uh, the wheels are actually metal, but the back wheels have a little sort of plastic rim on them so that they grip. And it actually goes pretty good. I think. I think it goes pretty good anyway. Isn't it? I like that. You can see the flywheel whizzing around underneath there. But what's good about this is it has its original box. And the box is really good. So, here we go. There's the uh, one side of the box. Each side of the box is different, which makes it more fun. So it says uh, Baby Gyro. This is made by Gesha. G-E-S-H-A. So there it says Baby Gyro. Obviously there was a larger one. Uh, this shows a car in red. Obviously, well, so I can work out two different colours you could get. Blue and red. Then we have this side. Here we go. There they both are, the red and the blue version together, which would suggest that what they uh, came like. The end of the box is like this. There you see the name Gesha and the uh, model number underneath. It actually says two and six at the top there. The other end's the same, but without the price. Now the better illustrations, this one I really like shows, <coughs> there you go, 
There you go. Nice busy scene. Somewhere in Berlin, one supposes. With the red cars and the blue cars in every which red direction. Pedestrians on the pavement. Big sort of skyscraper buildings everywhere. And I really quite like that. But I don't like that as much as I like the other one. Which is this one. This one is really cool. Oh dear, that's the... Uh... Yeah, anyway. So there we get the, uh, the red car outside the hotel. And there's the doorman. Uh, with his red uh, jacket on. Opening the door to this posh looking lady that's coming out of the hotel. And just here, just about there, there's a guy taking a photograph. The uh, original paparazzi of Berlin, if uh, that was known about. And then further over this side we have these stylish young things with their flashy clothes on. And then there's uh, a little hole in the box there, I think that's so you can see the colour of the car inside without having to open it. So I think that's really quite fun. Uh, this is about the size of uh, a matchbox car, maybe a little smaller. Uh, yeah, I think that's really rather good. If you're into art like I am, I think that's great. And so uh, that's the film for today. Now I do have some, uh, a couple of roller coasters that. Uh, need a bit of work done to them, they run off uh, batteries and uh, one has to have to clean the track up because it's got some rust on it and the cars don't run properly the other one has to fix the uh, support struts mm, so they will be doing that and so I know a few other things I have to uh, I've got a uh, train I have to sort out with a new drive belt that's going to be a pain. And a couple of steam rollers and a Victorian uh, musical uh, Hurtigerdy man I need to fix the wheel on. So yeah, there's a lot of things I've got to do. So while I'm in the middle of doing all this restoration work, I can be doing other films. Uh, it's up to you which ones I do next. It'll either be Lone Star Triple O gauge railways, which are the same as uh, N gauge. So I have all the locos and the rolling stock, loads of track, buildings, and various little tiny vehicles. I can show you that in instalments because there's a lot to get through. Or I can do model gas stations and accessories, things like gas pumps and car ramps and you know pumps and that kind of thing and I got a few of those to show some British and some German so leave me in the comments what you'd like me to do next which of those two you prefer me to do next and I'll do my best to oblige so uh, yeah hope you found that good because you know I did I do like that box I think it's great and I'm so pleased to have the uh, loco with the funnel <laughs> so yeah uh, there you go then like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed hit the like button it always helps of course it does and thanks to all the new subscribers I've got I don't know who they are but thank you anyway and I'll see you soon with another video. Okay, thank you. Bye.